Hello, I am Fiona Sharp, founder of F Sharp Music, based in Scotland. We are a small team of music specialists covering many areas of Scotland, providing one-to-one -one and group music sessions for children and adults with learning and physical disabilities. We do, however, pride ourselves in being specialists, particularly for people with PMLD. Today, I'm going to share with you a musical journey that I have been on for many years with an incredible lady called Julia. Julia has PMLD and due to her very high complex needs, she has limited purposeful movement, particularly in her arms and legs. Julia has to wear gloves around her hands at all times to protect herself and others. However, this means that her tactile communication and sensory interaction with her hands is very limited. So evidently, Julia likes to use her feet to interact with various things that she does. For example, she loves to paint with her feet. And as I picked up very quickly in our music sessions, she likes to play a number of different instruments using her feet. In one of our sessions, I noticed Julia kept looking over at the piano that was in the room and I asked Julia if she wanted to, to play and interact with the piano and she immediately vocalised and smiled in response. So I took Julia over to the piano and I helped support her arm up to the keys and immediately she started to move her hand and gently try and move her arm so that she was pressing down on the keys, on the keyboard of the piano. And the sheer enjoyment on her face was a really beautiful moment to witness because she was independently making that sound. Shortly after that session, Julia um, had some health issues, which meant that I couldn't see her for a few weeks. And when I went back to music sessions, she became quite agitated being in her comfy chair, which is what she had been sitting in for all her music sessions previously. So staff and I decided that we were going to move Julia to her bed for her music sessions, which for Julia was just the best thing ever. Her favorite place is her bed with her lights on and live music. I will be there to do some music with her. This did however mean that I was a bit more restricted to interacting with her feet uh, due to her being in her bed. But it did however open up some options to interact more with her arms. Now she had already had experience of playing the piano and interacting with the instrument starting to control her hand and arm movements when playing it. So there's no reason why we couldn't work on that further. So I started introducing drums around the bed, the wind chimes, various percussive instruments that she could try and interact with using her hands. An area that I am extremely passionate about is allowing for time and space for a person, particularly with PMLD, to have their voice, communicate, process. So all students that come to us at f -sharp Music, I drum it into them that time and space is invaluable. You must, for all sessions, allow for that time and space. You're in no rush. Let that person you're working with process, build up energy to respond let them have their voice and if that takes the full hour session let, let it be but you need to allow for that while I was filming for this presentation Julie and I um, over the past few weeks have been um, documenting and filming parts of her music sessions and one song in particular that Julia loves is Five Speckled Frogs the well-known nursery rhyme and I have been encouraging Julia to make a sound from one of the instruments that is around her in the bed as the splash for each verse. So I arrived a few weeks ago uh, to Julia's service and she was in great form 
And I thought, brilliant, we'll get the camera rolling, we'll do five speckled frogs. She seemed really excited about this. So I set up the tambourine drum close to her hand. Um, I use what's called a guiro, a scraper for a funny frog sound. And we filmed the song. Now, in my head, while I was doing that song with Julia, I thought I was giving her plenty of time and space to engage, interact and play her sound. I also remember while we were doing the song, I looked at Julia and I thought, mm, although you're really happy today, I just don't know if you're really wanting to interact with this. So I'll help you. And in my brain, I was also thinking, we're filming this, so we need to try and make sure that we, we get through the song. When I watched back that video that evening, when I got home, I was horrified at my practice, at something I pride myself in and preach to others about, I wasn't even doing it. I want you to take a look at this video. Two left, two little speckled frogs, sat oh. up the speckled log, eating the most delicious oh. frog. Yum, yum, you ready? Mm. One jumped oh. into the pool. Now, the reason I was so embarrassed about that session was because, I don't know if you noticed, but I was making the sign for Julia. Her hand was there, her hand was ready, but I didn't give her that time or space to build up that momentum to hit that drum herself. Instead, I just did it. I'd intervened. A lot of Julia's life, and particularly people with PMLD, a lot of things are done for them. We don't give enough time and space. Life sometimes doesn't allow us to give that time and space, that purposeful time and space. And yet here I am in an hour session with Julia where she did have that time and space and I still didn't give her that. So the next week I went in and I apologised to Julia. And I told her that it was very much my fault that I didn't give her that time that she needed to make that splash sound. And she was happy enough for me and her to film it again. And I promised her that I wouldn't intervene and that I'd let her make that sound. Well done. Now, although her her sound wasn't loud, she made that purposeful movement. She knew that her arm landed on that drum. From that moment, from that session, where I did allow her all the time she needed, music sessions with Julia have completely changed. The week after I filmed that session, I went in and I was doing our usual warm-up songs and the whole time Julia is lying on the bed looking at me intently with her hand tapping 
the side of her bed. <laughs> and and I, I said to her, are you wanting the drum, Julia? And she vocalised, smiled. And as if to say, finally, you're listening to me. <laughs> so I put the drum next to her and she happily drummed away. And actually, we ended up doing the whole session with her drumming. Towards the end of that session, I decided to put some wrist bells around one of her gloves, her kind of main dominant hand that was hitting the drum, so that there would be a second sound and it would help make the drumming sound a little bit louder because her gloves restrict that, that sound a little bit. So she was happily drumming away and I started to wind down the session and start packing up my instruments. And as I was doing this, I noticed this incredibly beautiful moment with Julia. So I grabbed my phone and started to film. You can see the sheer delight on Julia's face in that video. That movement that she makes to bring up her hand and she's looking at her hand and then that purposeful movement with the hand that then creates that sound of the bells and she's lying watching her hand do this. And then she gets into a pattern and she realises that, yeah, this is me completely on my own making this sound with my own hand. And it was just an incredibly beautiful and special moment to capture. And if anything highlights really how important it is to allow for that time and space, because had I not seen my own fault in that other session, I may have never actually got to that point with Julia. So sometimes it is good to maybe take a step back and look at what you're doing because we might think it's taking an age, but in actual fact, it's a tiny amount of time. We live in a culture and society where life is busy for most of us. Life can be very fast paced. What we needed to get on today, we should have got on yesterday. And we do need to remember that it doesn't always have to be that way, particularly when working with people with PMLD. I want to finish this presentation with a short clip from that second session, or like I like to call my redo um, of Five Speckled Frogs. And it's right at the very end before I say goodbye to her. And you can just see the sheer pride of her achievement from that drumming. But before we get to that clip, I would like to thank Julia. She is an incredibly beautiful and determined young lady that I'm very honored to work with and to have gone on these musical journeys with. I would also like to thank Joanna and PMLD Link for inviting me to do this presentation. It's been an absolute honour and pleasure to share my experiences with Julia with you. So let's end with Julia and her drumming achievements. Go for it. Yes! Yeah! There you are! Look at you go!
Oh. Happy lady. Oh. Proud of your achievements today. Oh. Yeah.